Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Apubo Rama, and in today's video, we are breaking into the motorcycle club businesses for Grand Theft Auto Online. Why? Well, in the latest update of the game, Rockstar has buffed the amount of time you get to complete your sale missions with the motorcycle businesses. And this is actually massive. When doing sale missions for the post-op vans or trash masters, you are very pressed for time. Pressed so much that that, in fact, with post-op vans, I've had deliveries where I've not been able to get every single parcel delivered, which absolutely sucks, and a lot of you have probably had similar experiences. So, Rockstar finally admitted to their wrongdoings, and has at least buffed the amount of time you get to do the sale missions. In today's video, I'm going to be letting you know everything you're going to want to about the Motorcycle Club properties, how to maximize your money, and as well, never get raided again. Let's start off very simple, and that is about properties themselves. See, a lot of people have this false belief that if a property is more expensive, it must be be better. And we can see this by taking a look at the property locations. Let's say that I wanted to buy the most expensive Coke lockup. It's $1.8 million. And if we take a look on the map, we can see that it is right next to my CEO office building, which is in fact right there. So you might be wondering, well, why is it a bad idea to purchase this property for $1.8 million? It's a better location. It's going to make sale missions faster. Well, here's the thing that you have to remember. When doing sale missions for your motorcycle club, you're going to either sell to the city, or if you are in the city, you're going to sell to Sandy Shores. And this is the thing you have to keep in mind. If you are ever in a public lobby, and you're selling your product, and you're in the city, your product is going to be sitting in the streets of Los Santos for any player to roll up to and blow up. Compare that to if your product is over in Sandy Shores. It is much safer and smarter to have your product sitting in Sandy Shores. And sure, you might not sell in a public lobby, but just that alone, if you ever plan to, is a huge benefit. The other thing you have to keep in mind about motorcycle clubs is that Sandy Shores is usually, for the most part, a downhill drive to Los Santos, where you have to climb up an entire mountain range from the city to actually get over to Sandy Shores. So in general... I would say purchasing the more expensive properties is a complete waste of money. It gives you no advantage, the distances are still exactly the same, and you actually have the disadvantage of if you ever sell in a public lobby, people can just go up to your goods while you're doing a sale mission and blow them up. So if you want my opinion, I wouldn't recommend to buy any of the expensive properties, and I'm not the only one that thinks this, I should say. A quick thank you to my sponsor, U4GM. If you guys are looking for discounted shark cards and millions of dollars, make sure to check the link in the pinned comments down below. The Motorcycle Club properties are not the only business you are going to want to buy if you want to minimize the chance of being raided while maximizing your profits. You are also going to want to get your hands on an arcade. And the arcade itself is pretty good. It's got a heist being the Diamond Casino and everything else, but that's not what we're worrying about here. The major reason you want to own an arcade is because of the Master Control Terminal, which we can see right in front of me. Hopping onto this computer will allow you to control the majority of the businesses in the game, the nightclub, gun running, your CEO, hangar, and cargo businesses, and most importantly for us in today's video, being motorcycle club properties. So let's break into one of the most important aspects about motorcycle club businesses, and that is getting raided. Currently, I am not part of a CEO or a motorcycle club business, and it is impossible to get raided unless you are registered as a motorcycle club president. So it's very simple. If you don't want to get raided, you need to minimize the amount of time that you are a motorcycle club president. To do this, this is why you want to own an arcade. Because hopping onto the computer here, we can register as a motorcycle club president on it. And then all we simply need to do is click on each property we want, press resupply, purchase these supplies, and then go to the next business and rinse and repeat. Once you've done this for all of your properties, you simply need to hop off of the computer and you need to get out of the seat. Once you're out of the seat, go back to your interaction menu, go to Motorcycle Club, and disband. And there you go. Just like that, it is impossible for me to get raided. The only chance I can get raided is once I register again to do a quick sale mission. But here's the great news. When you're doing a sale mission as well, all you need to do 
is walk into the business that you want to sell and press sell right on the computer. So once again, you're minimizing the amount of time to actually being part of a motorcycle club business down to seconds. And this will save you so much on being raided. I have not gotten raided with any of my motorcycle club properties for about a month now. And that just shows you how easy this is to use. Another reason owning motorcycle club properties can be quite nice is for your nightclub. You see, in warehouse management, you have a bunch of warehouse technicians that you are able to accrue goods with. And we can see that some of these goods are South American imports, organic produce, pharmaceutical research, cash creation. These goods are by purchasing motorcycle club properties. So I would definitely recommend, even if you don't plan on using the motorcycle club properties, to have them just so you can earn extra money with your nightclub. The best one is the coke lockup, then we have the math lab, then the counterfeit cash, weed, and then the worst property of them all, which I would not recommend to purchase, being document forgery. Absolute waste of money. I've heard copium from people saying that the document forgery earns them money, but honestly, that's the worst take I've ever heard in my life. The document forgery earns you about the same money as it costs you to purchase supplies. I want you to think about that real quick. The $75,000 you are spending on supplies is about the same amount of money you're earning from the property. And then you have to realize you're spending a good 15 to 25 minutes on the sale mission, depending on which of the sale missions you get. Meaning that you could literally just do a quick payphone hit and earn more money than you would have altogether with document forgery, especially because you have to earn back all of those upgrades you purchased in the process. The only world I would suggest to own a document forgery office is if you want to get discounted claim prices on your salvage yard, but apart from that, please don't buy it. Let's talk sale missions. First of all, as I mentioned before, do not be part of a motorcycle club until you hop onto the computer. Once you do this, there's no chance of being raided because LJT can't call you while you're on a computer. So it's very easy just to start the sale mission while on the computer, and there you go. Just like that, we don't need to worry about a silent raid. Now, there's always a lot of people that are worried if they're selling in a public lobby or let's say somebody blows up their product, they're going to lose all the money. So you saw we had an entirely full motorcycle club. Well, what we are going to do is blow up our motorcycles here. Actually, you have to get in them before you can blow them up. That's one thing I always forget. But yeah, we're going to hop in the motorcycle. Now that the mission has started, we're going to blow them up really quickly. So there's one explosion, two explosions. Actually, I think the, uh, I don't think the rail gun does more, but there you go. Either way, it's blown up. So just like that, right? Now we're missing 25% of the money we would have made. Well, that absolutely sucks, but there's a very easy way to counteract that. Just go to a new lobby. Going into a new lobby is going to cancel the sale mission, and it's going to return about 95% of the product back into your business. And you're going to notice that if we hop right back in. We can see you did not complete your last product sale. Most of your stock has been recovered and returned to your business. So let's go hop over there and see how much is left. All right, we are in a public lobby, as we can see, and I am doing my sale mission. So, a lot of you might be wondering how much extra time you have to complete sale missions now that Rockstar has buffed it. And uh, it's a lot of extra time. We can see in the bottom corner of my screen, time remaining 42 minutes. We started at 45 minutes, but I had to fly my presser mark to all the way down to the city. 45 minutes from what originally was 30 minutes. That is a 15 minute buff. That's absolutely huge. And it means that motorcycle clubs now are actually quite decent. Now, I'm not going to go out of my way and say you should spend your time doing motorcycle club properties because unless you have friends helping you out, the sale missions are still a bit painful. And I don't know if I would recommend to spend 30 minutes doing a sale mission when I can spend 45 minutes and complete the entire Cayo Preco heist from start to finish. But what I will say is if you have already completed the Cayo Preco heist and you have some downtime or you want to do an AFK method and earn some extra money, this is not a bad way to do so at all. So that's how I currently see it when it comes to earning money with the motorcycle business. It's quite good if you just want to have some money accrued over time and especially if you do manage to sell in a public lobby, you will earn quite a bit of extra cash. This sale mission is normally supposed to be $300,000 selling to Los Santos, but because we are in a public session, we're going to be looking more at around maybe $400,000, even with only about 
10 or so people in the lobby because you do get that nice juicy bonus so we have just a couple vehicles delivered here and we got one more destination to go now something else that rockstar buffed was the amount of time you have for the boat checkpoints and we can see that is definitely the case i had around 40 seconds just for this last checkpoint to be made and we are easily going to make this with plenty of time left unfortunately everybody's leaving my lobby though meaning that we're not going to make too much money but yes in general a lot of things have been buffed at the motorcycle club which is really good and uh honestly just makes life so much easier oh yeah and one final thing about the boats you may notice that we are still allowed to drive the boat after we complete the mission that did not used to be the case beforehand it would just kick you off the boat when you completed the last delivery and then you would have to swim or go wherever the heck you were previously to start the next boat but now you can simply drive your boat to land and grab out a vehicle or whatever you want to do and just like that three hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars added into my bank account yeah there was only five people in the lobby but we still made more money than i would have originally just because of that slight high demand bonus let's say that you get unlucky and you've post op vans and you're in a public lobby and there's somebody literally across the road from you which there is for me right now well you've got two options the first option is that you can try and complete the sale mission in 45 minutes which is plenty of time now that they've buffed it but the question is do you want to complete a sale mission with post op vans personally i think it's better just to take the five percent cut to how much money you would make and simply go to online and find a new session because nobody wants to sell post-op vans trust me it's a waste of time unless you're selling in a private lobby and even then i'd still rather dock the five percent pay and use a much faster mode of transportation for my sale mission as we can see a tiny cut to the amount of money i have of products but in return we now get to hop onto our computer in a new public lobby and start another sale mission and hopefully this time we won't have three post-op vans I'm really hoping that we get the single truck. Well, we have entered the boat again, but the boat is a very easy sail mission to complete, and it's actually at a pretty good location as well, so we shouldn't even have to worry all too much. And a simple sail mission later. $620,000 is actually a pretty decent profit, and not too bad at all. So, my closing remarks. What do I think about Motorcycle Club properties? Are they worth your time? Well... I don't think they're awful, but you have to be smart about it. First of all, make sure you're not part of a motorcycle club business at all. Don't be part of one unless you want to get raided. This kind of sucks if you like using your oppressor or a bunch of other motorcycles, but it's not the end of the world. Just call out your motorcycles through your mechanic. It's only going to take you an additional 10, 15 seconds. It's not that big of a deal. The other thing that you're going to have to keep in mind is that if you get the post-op vans or the trash master in general just load into a new lobby especially if you're a player who's normally selling in invite only lobbies just load into a new lobby you might be saying why would i do that when we've increased sale mission timers well personally i don't think it's that smart to spend 30 plus minutes of your life selling post-op vans i think it's a much smarter idea to spend those 30 minutes doing a much faster sale mission and then a quick three minute payphone hit you're going to earn more money in that payphone hit than you lost when it comes to time with the sale mission and you'll have a heck of a lot more fun so in that regard i think those would be my bits of advice don't sell when you get really trash sale missions and if you do plan on selling in a public lobby make sure it's only something like boats motorcycles or the truck because those are the best let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and as always if you enjoy this type of content and you'd like to see more like it please consider smashing that subscribe button down below I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.